Hey guys, welcome back to Form Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Halazia by ATs. Uh, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Uh, I literally just kept forgetting to add this to my list. That is my fault, my bad, but you know I love ATs and I'm so excited to check this out. Um, I heard this is a remix album. I might do a listening party for it. I might not. I can't guarantee it. But regardless, if we do, it will be on our Patreon. Um, we are also checking out a lot of the end of the year award music show stages. So we've already checked out MMA, Mama, KBS Kyle de Chukche. This week, we're going to be checking out the SBS Kyle, and we're going to also be checking out the Asia Artist Awards, the Fact Awards, and stuff in the future. So if you want to, any of those uh, are of any interest to you, um, come join us. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. If you want to support us free, just like the video down below. Leave a comment, simple, easy, free way to help us out, or you can subscribe down below as well. Guys, we really appreciate however you support us, whether it's in a free way or through our Patreon. Let's get into the video. This is Halazia by ATs, and this is your form of therapy. Oh, 4K, baby, let's go. The visuals, of course, always. Oh. God. Oh, I can already hear this. I can already hear this chorus. Where the fuck is Hongju? Whoa, never mind. This is not what I thought the chorus would be. What the hell? Wow. <laughs> 
Oh, there's more. Eighties. What are you guys doing? Like, legitimately, I listened to that last album, and my favorite song on that album was probably Cyberpunk. And basically, Halazi, Halazia basically feels like <laughs> if you decided to take the same energy from Cyberpunk, but make it a title track. And title track it up. That's insane. It's wild energy. I'm sorry. I'm just my brain shut off right now. I'm trying to. I'm staring at a candle right now, trying to center myself. Quite literally. Uh, I'm, I'm serious. My the flame on my candle is going nuts right now because it can't handle all the wildness that ATs just brought. That was wow. Wow. That was, even by AT standards, too good. That was, even by AT's on Kingdom standards, too good. That was, if AT's just made a movie. That's it. Not, hey, we made like a music, uh, we made like a, like a short film version of like a music video. No, it's, if you somehow combined everything they've ever done from both cinematic storylines, but also the live stage presence and also the epic, almost anime cartoon sort of of nature to the grand scale of it, they combined that all into one here. This is, in my opinion, the ultimate AT song. And in a way, it might be hard to digest because of that. They actually put so much into this song. They combine so element, so many elements into this song that, for me, it's my favorite type of song. But I'm also like a very, very crazy type of person where I like a lot of different things. I like a lot of different mixes. And hey, the more genres you can mash up into a song, <laughs> I'm down. It's just about how well can you do it. And I knew this song was going to be magical from this moment. Where was it? Oh, yeah. Not even this part, not even this part. The moment he said, The moment I heard the melody of how they were using this title, that right there, I knew this song was going to be legendary. There's just some melodies. There's just like some like notes, certain notes. This for me takes, okay, so for me, one of my favorite uh for a long time, um, it, it got dethroned. But for a long time, my favorite like AT song in general um, uh, was Inception. I love, 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 love. I just love a good emo vibe. Um, like for BTS, my one of my favorite songs for a long time was Fake Love. And I just love good emo vibes. And Halazia, but I, I'm a, like I said, I, I'm an eclectic person, as we all are. And I like multiple different genres. And the way they combine the weird aspect of feeling very religious, but also very cathartic and heavy and ominous and scary with the EDM and hardcore, like, uh, hard style, like, like crazy, all that shit. Mixing it all together in one bag. I mean, I don't know who worked on this. If it's still Eden and his team, man, they are crazy. But uh, let let you know what. Let's just listen to this again, shall we?
I mean, it's really like a movie. Uh, I want to say um, something I really want to compliment the AT's team, but also their music video team on, is that this music video is their most gorgeous music video to date. It is the real was my favorite music video from them. The real. The real does not even come close to this video. I think a lot of K-pop music videos. If honestly, I think mu, I think just music videos do not come close to what Halazia pulled off. It's not a music video. That's what I'm saying. It crossed this weird parallel universe boundary between you straight up made a movie, and I say this like from a directing standpoint, like. Not like, uh, oh, it, it feels cinematic or it looks cinematic or they did a music video in a cinematic way. No, they actually made a movie and then they portrayed it with their shot choices, with the acting, with the framing, everything. It, it They told the story completely through the choreography and the beat chains and everything. It's like, rather than the song feeling like a soundtrack for a movie or this video feeling like a movie for this song... Um, it feels like it's just working both in harmony. Like it, one cannot exist without the other. This is just Halazia. It's just, it is this video. It is this song. It's just epic. I love they're giving like this ethereal look by adding like this after image, you know, uh, effect on the sides. Kind of like when you look like through like a prism, like in like the reflections. Of course, Sungwon looks incredible. I think you know is one of my favorites. I think you know is maybe one of my MVPs, MVP candidates, or he is an MVP candidate. Sorry. God, I didn't realize that was Young this entire time. God damn. Listen to those vocals too! Okay, I gotta watch this again. This is basically like the real, but like on crack. Like every like so like in, in the way that like the real had um the different sports clubs as different teams, it looks it's like an apocalypse setting, but like from different towns and like worlds or universes, whatever. Um, Songwa assumingly feels the most very like Mad Max, very like typical dystopian apocalyptic, like leads a leads like a whole society of like a like like wild uh, in uh, indigenous people, um, you know. I love this set, but I don't know what the f it means. Sorry. Clearly, this is he's supposed to be in like an hourglass, you know, like with the sands. And I love how this curtain drape actually also is emulating the curvature of an hourglass, even though he's supposed to only be in the bottom part of it. That's a great visual. And then Yozhan is so cool. Like, he's from like this dystopian city and he's leading underground people something right and maybe we don't just alone it is gothic oh my god wait it's it's also the way it's shot too i'm pretty sure Wow. Yeah, it's... I'm very curious as to what camera they shot this with. This looks very different. This looks very, very different. The camera language... It, it is not... I, I don't know what camera this is. Because I have... For, I, I do not work with a lot of high-end cameras. Only... only um, like, very, very few... And I do not recognize this. I don't, I don't even recognize what the f they shot this was. But it's what also makes this music video genuinely look um, 
no longer like a K-pop music video. It actually looks like a, a, a film. There is something about the visual language of how the camera is capturing the data. Sorry, I'm getting like technical here, but it's the camera as well. Like they did all this crazy shit, the crazy storyline, but it's also the camera. It really shows when they're dancing. It really shows when they're dancing. This part where Yuno's dancing. That's a sick fucking... Oh my God, that looks... It looks like a Korean movie. And then this... Oh my God, look at that shot. Oh my god! Hongju! Oh, he is. Hongju is a menace on this song. God damn. Oh my god, Minji! That right there, that scares me. The lyrics for this are so powerful. And given the universe of what they're going for, of emotion is the disease, right? A uh, society that's like suppressing emotions. And you see with the dancing, like they're doing like the interpretive dancing, like uh, where it's almost like dancing and fight choreography at the same time, showing the pangs of emotion and how they want to break free and how they want to emote. Like in the lyrics too. Right here, the sound of love's breath. I want to know if it's okay this way. The little blue bird. This part right here. The little blue bird that lost its verse. That lost its voice. I can hear the whisper. The beginnings of a deep echo. The voice that will overturn the world. That's fucking sick. And then in Korean, what Yozang is saying, it's so, the, the, it's so catchy too. Ooh, there's a nice auto tune on that too. That that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's a nice subtle auto tune. Mm. Oh, it's so fucking. Oh. I need the lyrics for this. God this scene, 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 God damn it this scene. Wow. Once again, it's the camera. The camera's insane. I don't know what the they're shooting on, but look at the the set deco is also insane. And then the just having the background people. The, the garbs, uh, the color, like the color language of this video is insane. It's a very, uh, um, from an objective view, it's a very ugly video. What I mean by that is just like, it's very gray, kind of desaturated, but the, the way they find moments to pocket in color, they're wearing a lot of blacks, but even Mingi with the orange hair, I feel like is, is very, um, it, it's very purposeful. Uh, even Yuno wearing both the white and black, kind of feeling like a bridge between, and he's in that time uh, glass with like the browns. And then it leads to this moment. You've got like these like popping yellows. And I, I love the scarecrow thing, by the way. Um, like it looks like they're saying like, maybe they're saying like the the dude with the, the dude with the black hat is dead. And there, it almost feels like a funeral. Like, like someone died and now we've got to go to war because they're dead and it, or, or or it feels like they're revolting against them or something i don't know what that is is that like a tr is that black thing in the back is that a tribute to the black hat or is or is that like they're you, you, like kind of i don't know propping them up in an insulting way i i, I don't know but lore wise that's really cool i never like quite understood it um although i i do somewhat um, cause there's also the whole time travel element thing, but I'm saying like, I don't understand, like, I don't get the story though. Like I understand all the elements. I don't get the story, but, uh, just the yellow, 
with the notice how the blues are like so subtle. They're like a they're almost like an indigo. Shout outs to RM. Um and the green, green, yellow, and blue, those colors work very, very well. And so even though they have a lot of colors going on in this, they've got browns, whites, blacks. It's almost like most music videos, they sorry, um, like swapping conversation. Most music videos tend to have a um uh like a color language to it. It's usually about three colors. It could be two, sometimes four, but it's usually like you stick within those primary colors. But here it they have a lot of primary colors, but does the video, unlike most K-pop music videos, don't feel it doesn't feel as colorful and wild and crazy and zany. And I think it's because they kind of like separated it into subcategories. They had a they had two color languages for this video, the colorful side and the not so colorful side. Uh, and so the not so colorful side, it's never too dark. There's a lot of blacks, but there's just as many grays and whites to balance it out. But then for the color section, it's yellows, blues, greens, but they're not super popping. They're not super oversaturated. In fact, they're looks more like pastel-y blue. The more contrasty like yellows uh, look more shadowy and the green is more pressed into the back. So they pop, but it's never overwhelming. The, this music video, that's why it it's actually a movie. Like they treated every little aspect of this. No one does this for a music video. It, they treated every aspect of it. It's just like, eh, let's throw in this outfit and this thing and let's do this, 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 this. They'll plan a little bit more intricately than that, but going into like going like this deep into making it look this good is insane. And like notice the like the fucking smoke that they're shooting too. So you've got the two backlights in, in the back. Smoke always helps refract light, which is what makes the scene look much more majestic and magical then, like, this scene would not look as cool without the fog. They've got, like, this gold confetti, too. Ooh, that was dope. This They, they slow mode on him right before he popped. Ooh! Tiny little edits like that. Ooh! 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 I've been complaining about this. I'll, well, not complaining. It's been my wish. Hey, K-pop groups, incorporate just little bits of slow-mo. Just a little bit here and there, here and there. Woo! Oh, yeah. This is the shot I have been waiting for. This is the, Ever since I saw Yeozang perform live last year, I... Something I personally never saw translated in the videos. Yozang is a beast. He's a beast performer. And I don't know why the videos never quite give me that vibe. I was waiting for the shot. There's like, like every idol has like a shot. Ooh, I love this shot for him. Oh my God. He, he looks powerful. My God. Oh my god, and then the sudden speed up. Oh, it throws me off every time. And then they set it on fire. That's what I mean. I wonder if it's the same fucking. Is he a bad guy? Because I thought it was supposed to be them. But I'm, I'm confused. You know what I really love about this music video? Listen, it's long. It's a long song. It's a long music video, but it gives everyone a chance to shine. I feel like everyone got a chance to shine. What I found surprising is um, it, it, San wasn't, I, I mean, I'm sure he's more present in the song as a vocalist, but in the music video, he didn't have as much presence as a dancer. In fact, they gave a lot of that to Uyong, which as a uh, Uyong bias, um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all the Uyong love. That might be why, because that's why I loved Inception. He technically didn't have a lot of parts, but he had the best parts. But anyways, Sun actually got to flex a, a lot of his acting skills and like had a lot of like great big dramatic parts here. And 
And then Wu Young got to like Wu Young first of all was I I feel like got more um uh than I like, which uh which is good. Uh sorry, that that's phrased weird. He got more than what I usually expect him to get, which I liked, but then I love this whole dance section at the end because this really makes him just stand out. But it's not just Uyong is what I'm trying to say. It's like, you know, in a part like that, Mingi at a moment like that, every two at a moment, everyone at a moment like that. God, this part right here. This part. I love that editing right there. Ooh, the two quick edits. Ooh, and the fucking man, he's a ninja. Ah, uh, Ryong, god damn it. Yeah, because it's like he's the main character. San is the main character. So I don't know what that ball is, but whatever it is, he freed it. He freed it. Ah. Oh, I'm I'm so I'm so curious and fascinated to see the next floor. That is so cool. Like actor Han. Like, you know, if you if you if you watched imitation, you you got a taste of actor Han. But to see him in a dramatic role like this, no words, only just raw visceral power man that was that was dope that was dope um sorry that this video is so long it's a 30 minute reaction now but i gotta say that was a, a video that warranted it um 80s i i really thought they did it with gorilla i really thought they did they once again topped themselves this is however i they top themselves but i won't compare this to their other previous music videos because it is not a k-pop music video and i would say it is unfair to even compare this to a k-pop music video for now you know who knows this might just be the future of 80s music videos if that is then holy crap this might be 80s best music video of all time or i don't know i don't know but right now i'm like really eager to say that um but i'm trying to hold back inception is still one of my favorites um the real is still one of my favorites, but in terms of just scale, in terms of just directing, in terms of writing, in terms of the hard work and effort, my God, this is the hardest they've ever worked. And you know what? God damn it. I'll say for me, it's my favorite 80s music video now. It's my favorite 80s music video. This and the real. Those two really, I think the scale of it, the epicness of it, the writing, the directing, I think it is untouchable by a lot of a lot of K-pop standards. I think it is really of an epic legendary nature that like not many people in the history of k-pop have done or do often even um so yeah 12 out of 10 12 out of 10 video uh i rarely dole those out but this was not uh, a regular music video this was not a regular k-pop music video this was um this was halazia that's all i can say um guys i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and review to ATs is halazia i'd love to know your thoughts my god you guys have wanted me to check this out so much and my god i can see why it was amazing uh if you have any um live stage or award show like uh, bonus drops that you want me to check out you can always request them over on our patreon uh we do daily bonus drops so if you want to check that out come join us on our patreon we do other ATs reactions i might check out the remix album now i don't know i'm pretty hyped from halazia so i might um but we have other content if you want to check it out of course you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to you can just hit the video uh the like button down below uh you can comment down below it helps us out with the search engine algorithm you can also subscribe over here uh hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload a new video as well check out our other videos over here and we'll see you next time my god that was amazing i hope you guys had a wonderful day we'll see you next time